Today we're looking at the range of Omnia USB-C power delivery wall chargers from Aki. Now if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I've reviewed a lot of USB-C power delivery power banks. I think that a lot of devices are going to USB-C. It makes sense if you're gonna invest in a power bank that you should get a power bank that can do USB-C with power delivery. Now, in order to charge those USB-C power banks with power delivery, you're gonna need a wall charger that can do USB-C with power delivery. Now, full disclosure, I was not paid by Aki to make this video, so my thoughts and my opinions are my own, but they did provide the chargers for me to review. Okay, a few general points before we get started. First, you'll find the links to the chargers that I show in this video in the description below. The chargers from Aki come with a 24 month warranty. They're all made in China. They all have a pretty similar design with like a matte plastic body, uh, which feels really nice with kind of rounded edges and they all have uh, prongs that flip out, except for the 20 watt one, which just has the fixed prongs. Okay, starting with the 20 watt one. So this one has one power delivery port capable of up to 20 watts power delivery. I've done a separate video on this, but just to summarize, this 20 watt USB-C wall charger from Aki is about the same size as the five watt original wall charger that came with iPhones. So I think that really this is a pretty good replacement, especially since the new iPhone 12s don't come with a wall charger. And also Apple's own 20 watt wall charger is quite a bit bigger than this one. The price for this one ranges from 1274 to 1799 US dollars, but I think the price is kind of settling more on the low end around $13. Okay, this one is a 65 watt power delivery wall charger and it has a 65 watt USB-C power delivery port as well as a USB-A port that can do 12 watts. Now you can get this charger in a two USB-C port version, which could be helpful if you're trying to charge both like a MacBook, a 13 inch MacBook Pro, as well as you know your iPhone 12 or an iPad Pro, having the two USB-C ports might be helpful. This would be an ideal charger as a replacement for a 13 inch MacBook Pro or lower. Okay, I wanna quickly compare this wall charger to a few other similar uh, wattage wall chargers. So this one is from Anchor. This one comes with one of their power banks. This is a 65 watt wall charger. You can see here, I'd say that the um, Aki one is smaller. This is another Anchor wall charger that comes with uh, one of their power banks. This is a 60 watt wall charger. And so you can see the Aki one is smaller still. This is a 60 watt wall charger that came with a Luxtude power bank. And you can see the Aki one is quite a bit smaller than that one. Now the price ranges on this one from about 25 to $38. Okay, moving on. This is a 90 watt USB-C power delivery wall charger and it has two USB-C power delivery ports here and then one USB-A port. If you just have one USB-C device plugged in, it's gonna be capable of putting out uh, up to 90 watts. If you have two USB-C devices plugged in, then one port is gonna be able to put out up to 60 watts and the other one is gonna be able to put out up to 30 watts for a total of 90 watts. Something like this would be ideal if you wanted to charge both an iPhone and like a 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is also available in black and white and goes for about 40 to $50. Okay, finally, the 100 watt charger. So this one has two USB-C power delivery ports and two USB-A ports. If you just have one thing plugged into the USB-C port, it's gonna be capable of putting out 100 watts of power delivery. If you plug into both of the USB-C ports, you're only gonna be able to get 45 watts per port for a total of 90 watts. This charger would be a good option as a replacement for a 16 inch MacBook Pro wall charger, which is a 96 watt wall charger. This one is also available in black or white and goes for $56. Okay, some final thoughts on these chargers. I've been using an Aki 60 watt USB-C wall charger for the past year as kind of like a daily driver charging all my USB-C devices and it's worked perfectly. I've been really impressed with like the design and the durability and the kind of like matte plastic on this feels really nice. If you're looking for a USB-C power delivery wall charger, I don't think you can go wrong by going with Aki. I think that they offer really great value and do what they're supposed to do. So one tip, when you're trying to figure out which wall charger is best for you to get, you might not wanna get just you know the wall charger that is large enough to power your one largest USB-C device. So I mean, if you have a MacBook and you need a 60 watt wall charger, you might not wanna get just a 60 watt 
wall charger. You might want to get something like a 90 watt wall charger and that way you can easily power your MacBook, but you also have the extra power to power, you know, an iPad Pro or, or Nintendo Switch, any of the other USB-C devices that just keep coming out. So try to think ahead when you're getting a wall charger to get something that's going to allow you to charge more than just what you need to charge right now. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this look at the Aki Omnia line of uh, USB-C power delivery wall chargers. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.